Thank you for joining. My name is John Varai, and I'm the lead product marketing manager for Launch by Adobe. Before I get into the demo, I'd like to take a moment and share some context. Typically, when software as a service is developed, an engineering team will build the core software first and then build APIs that plug into that software later on. Oftentimes, as users, we feel like these APIs were sort of an afterthought, and in many cases, that the APIs are missing key functionality. The engineers that built Launch took a different approach. Instead of building the core software first, our engineers built the APIs first and then wrapped the user interface around those APIs. We thought that if we could build a product that relies solely on APIs for every capability in that product, we would be able to meet even the most demanding customer use cases. In this demo, I'm going to first install Adobe Analytics, then I'll create one data element to track product name, and I'll end the first part of the demo by creating a rule that listens for users that scroll to a certain place on the page. During the second part of the demo, I'll show you how launch APIs make it possible to do a lot more work in a lot less time. Let's begin by installing the Adobe Analytics extension. And to do that, all we have to do is populate these three fields, which are the development, staging, and production report suite IDs. I'll select save and then move over to data elements. And for the sake of demoing best practices, let's say you have a data layer and you want to plug into that data layer. To do that is very simple. You simply select JavaScript variable and then you put the path to that variable here. Now keep in mind that it's not necessarily important to digest how I'm doing everything that you see here, but rather to just take note of the level of effort. I'll then select rules and you name the rule here and let's say that you want to understand once again when a user actually sees a certain portion of the web page on their screen. To do that we can use the enters viewport option under event type and then we would define where on the page we're interested in understanding when users actually see that part of the page on their screen. I'll select keep changes and then I'll move, down, I'll move down to Actions. And you'll notice here that the Adobe Analytics extension has actually added new capability inside of Launch. For those of you using single page applications, we split out the Send Beacon and Set Variable functionality, so that will come in very handy. And now let's say we want to pass the product name that we captured earlier on in Data Elements to Adobe Analytics. We can set the variable that we want to be equal to this data element and then we simply click the data element here and then click keep changes. If we wanted to push this to production I would click on publishing and promote this through the various publishing stages in that workflow. Now what you just saw me do is install Adobe Analytics, capture a data element and define a rule that is looking for users who actually see a, per a certain part of the page on their screen. Now let's say your business is opening up shop in a new country and you want to be able to quickly capture a lot of pieces of data, install many different technologies, both Adobe owned and non-Adobe owned, to capture data and to send it to those various technologies. Typically to do that, you would come here to the user interface and do something similar to what I did here. You would create a number of rules, data elements, and extensions. And as you've seen, this process is not difficult, but Launch allows you to do a lot more work with a lot less effort using the APIs. So what you see here is a Heroku app that one of our engineers built in half a day. This is not something that we will provide to customers, it's just meant to show you the art of the possible. Your engineers could build something similar and leverage all the launch APIs to automate your deployments. If you have a standard set of technologies, a standard set of data that you want to capture in a certain way and to send to certain places, you can literally automate that entire workflow. So once again, let's say that we want to leverage these APIs. You don't have to use a Heroku app here. Your engineers can use other methods, but once again, this is just a nice way to illustrate that. So let's say you're opening up shop in a new country and you built some sort of application to help you leverage the launch APIs. You'll notice here that the launch APIs are now installing various extensions. They're creating new properties. Country here, which is what I used up here to name this new property. 
and it shows you exactly what was done. It's created new data elements, and it's also created new libraries. Now, just to show you that all of this was actually automated, I'm going to go back into Launch, click on the Properties, and refresh the page, and you'll notice here that we have a new property that wasn't here before, country dot here. If I go into this property, you'll notice that a number of rules were created. We can even click into those rules and see exactly what was, what was built for each of those rules. A number of data elements were created, and even the Adobe Analytics technology was installed. Launch APIs are tremendously powerful, and they allow you to do a lot more work in a lot less time. And that's why life is better with Launch.